the or what I'm hoping to be the subject of this video is about self exploitation via or by means of artistic expression. I have rehearsed that sentence because I do not know how to word it. That is the best. Hopefully that works. I already have kind of explained that I think artist is an umbrella term, so don't take this to heart or like super directly because it's pretty loose and open, but also speaking more specifically to my own situation. And also like light research, not super heavy. Um, as normal, I'm kind of going off of like musical and visual artist references. Uh, and those visual and musical artistic references kind of have to be art autobiographical in nature of like their artwork or like the work that they produced in their lifetime also pertaining to me i guess a few autobiographical references or like well-known people i can use for an example um you know vincent van gogh i guess pablo picasso i'm not sure how to say his name i think it's uh i don't know basquiat i think that's correct um i don't know you know there, there's probably a shit ton visual artist wise that are very much autobiographical um musically i guess you go with like tina turner mariah carey like people who are very hands-on and i don't know it's like all from experience or opinion perspective what they're going through at the time and i'm kind of at a crossroads as of currently and maybe it is because i have like a traditionalist traditionalist perspective i don't think it's really a purist because i i think i'm open-minded but at the same time i'm like uh, some stuff is like pushing it um, I have felt that art has always been exploitive or self-exploitive if it's really art, but at the same time, there are people that do not have, like, a meaning behind their art, but even then, there are people that can connect to it in a way that's very personal. Um, you know, it's kind of, like, the beauty of art, but also, like, the conflict of, like, explaining art and art having a meaning but to the individual, like, hearing something or, like, is immediately going to have a nuance, is immediately going to have a context. But I also think that's sort of, like, the beauty of it. Sort of, like, even to me as a person who's made the things, everything is very different depending on, like, the time of day. Like, I don't know, there's always, like, a different message or a different takeaway from something that I've made or something that I'm meant to make. And I think that's, like, really good and really wonderful. Um... Not to be, like, hippie, but, like, it's, like, you know, it's just, like, universal language. And it's very, going back to an older video, I guess, reference, it's very indiscriminate. And it's very, like, I don't know, I just, it's very accepting regardless of intention most of the time. I mean, and I guess a point I'm sort of trying to make is that, like, when you make that type of art, it's its own type of draining because it is sort of self-exploitive but it is very pure but it's like you're constantly giving yourself away over and over and i think that's why the reception of it can be taken to heart you know so people say something shit and it's like well that shit's from my heart and all that jazz it's really fucked up But that's the quality that I have kind of chosen to endorse. And it's kind of like, I don't want to lower the quality and like the output that I admire in others. But at the same time, it's like, like this is really, I can really look back at my life, you know, because I've literally almost done a painting every day, at least recent, more recently. I don't know, I didn't keep a solid track before doing videos. If you look in the bio of my videos, I have the dates of when I actually painted them. Um, and sometimes what the size is, but 
mostly just the dates. So it really is like a painting diary, sort of. And on the flip side of creating art that is sort of like self-exploitive and also, I guess, selfish, because that's another thing I've talked about where it's like, I don't, also something I've heard, I think Lana Del Rey has also said, like, I don't think about other people when I'm making stuff, like when I'm writing things or when I'm painting things, it's just like, this is what it is, or this is how I feel it is, you know, because that is perspective. But, I don't know. I think that's something that I didn't really div- divulge, divulge, whatever, you know the word I'm going for, devolve, divulge, whatever, the word, um, I don't know, I think that's why I'm a bit triggered by making these videos, I tiptoed around it because it was like, ugh, I don't want anyone to talk about it because it's gross or heavy and makes me feel like I'm gonna vomit, but like, I don't think I've ever been that well received, not to be like stereotypical, but I, like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of misunderstanding can happen when I talk when I'm like myself in front of people and I'm, I know I've been told I'm awkward and I do think now like in retrospect picking up on stuff I am awkward but it's just like ooh, I don't want to relive all my social experiences of people somewhat rejecting me or shunning me but here I am on YouTube you know and every time I do it I like channel a different person you know, like, I don't know, a weird, uh, whoever you can think of, like, what would Janis Joplin do? Not the drugs, but, like, you know, like, you know, Cosmic Blues is a jam. They're never gonna know, you know, but, like, um, and then, like, you know, like, I could, I could have gay twigs, you know, like, I read that article where she talked about, I would disappear in Paris. I would shave my head and run away to Paris. And I'm like, Paris is the place to go if you are trying to start over. I mean, look at Eartha Kitt, not just Josephine Baker. I mean, I think Nina Shimon probably should have gone to France, too. Really would have kicked it up her career again, but, um, where was it going? Also, also, Nina Simone, probably very much autobiographical in all of her work. Maya Angelou, they're probably, they're an endless list of self-exploitative artists, but, I don't know, underappreciated, underrepresented people. And that's what really fucking sucks about it, I think. I'm not sure this had a point, like, any of these videos ever have a point, but, um, I just wanted to talk about, uh, self-exploitation in the art world, so, I think that's all I have to say. Feel free to dislike, because I rambled, and or subscribe, I guess, if you like that rambling. Okay, I knew I thought I was, I thought I was done, but then I realized I wasn't, because I forgot something, and I think that's what makes it really difficult to see, like, people who make art for fun, like, whatever medium it be, like, oh, I just make shit up, and that's cool. I mean, that is a form of creative, but at the same time, like, it's not the same as people who are, like, writing about their lives, day in and day out, or, like, personal experiences. So, I don't know, it's just like, ugh. should I be a character, or can I be myself, you know? Like, what is going to help me make a living, you know? What is going to help me survive at the end of the day? But at the same time, when I look back, I don't want to be a joke, you know? Like, this shit means a lot to me. And that's it.